So, good morning, welcome back to another video. You might be asking where we've been, but I've had a particularly busy week. So it's great to be back out on the bug again, back with my mate Pete. And where are we going today, Pete? We're gonna go and explore the Bath Cycleway, I think. We are, yeah. So have you cycled this way before, Pete? No, more new roads. It's more new roads for me, I'm quite excited. And we loved the uh, strawberry line last week, so we're, we thought we'd try route today. Yeah, so. we, we, we tried the cycle pass at yeah. uh, the two tunnels and the Bath to Bristol Cycleway. I looked at the elevation. Camus says 1,200 meters for me. That, that means 1,500. And then Garmin <laughs> Connect said 1,600 meters. So we could be in for a lot of climbing. Today. Yeah. And, and I've only got two gears. I'm stuck in two gears at the moment. I'm hoping they'll come back alive. They did last week. So fingers crossed. <laughs> Electronic gears. Right, so we're on the uh, the Bath Road Climb out Wells, one of the first Mendic climbs of the day. I'm stuck in third ring from the little one, so it must be a 25, 28, 26, 25, is it? I don't know. That one. It's been all right because I've got I've got the big ring and the little ring in that gear. I just haven't got anything on the back derailleur. So this is going to be <laughs> fun. Now we've hit the climbs. I struggled last week on the climbs. What am I going to do this week? <laughs> With no gears. <laughs> I know. And potentially more climbing today as well. Don't say that. But if we put the profile up on the screen, it's two big climbs today. And then there's two tiny little spikes in the middle as well, which look like they ramp up, so you might be pushing. <laughs> yeah, the walk of shame. <laughs> like deja vu isn't it on our Tiffin ride yeah <laughs> heading through Wells up the Harrington climb just a bit bring, slower bring you back memory yeah <laughs> and a few less gears no 40 uh, mile oh, hour tailwind today I'm in the big wing going on this little ramp <laughs> it's not good <laughs> not good So we're heading up this tunnel lane. It looks amazing. <laughs> but Pete, it looks steep. <laughs> I keep nice struggling to change gear. Change gear, what's that? I know. That's a novelty. <laughs> this could be Langport all over again. <laughs> oh, I'm going for a hand again. <laughs> Just a few bunny hops over trenches, Pete, but it is getting worse. I know. I thought it was bad back there, but... Uh, the road's disappearing. Right, so we're now in midsummer and autumn. We've hit the start of the cycle path, which I believe takes us to the two tunnels and into Radstock. So we'll see how we go. So far, so good. Yeah, it looks like it's going up another hill. Right. Oh, we're going right. You are? You kidding me? No. Oh yes. And it's downhill. That's a win. I keep forgetting you've got no gears. <laughs> well, I'm just glad it's flat. But then again, I make it look so easy because I'm so pro. Because you're so you, pro. You just, you just can't tell I've only got two gears. <laughs> Who else would go on a bike road with two gears? I'll fix it. Do you reckon he knows he's on a bike path? <laughs> <laughs> just drafting a VW Polo on the bike path. <laughs> That's if he'd taken the wrong turn, I don't know. The <laughs> <laughs> lane's so narrow they can't turn around. <laughs> There's potholes, there's cars, there's ponies, oh, water! That looks a bit flooded. I don't know where this road goes, but it's starting to feel like we're going into Narnia. Mystical fantasy land. <laughs> so we're back on the bike path. It's flat again. Bit of rest for the legs. This ride is not flat. 
and there's uh, some big castle or something up on the right church. That's a bit of an epic shot, that isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Never even heard of it. Unfortunately, I can't give you any facts about it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so I'm guessing as the bikes are all turning their lights on ahead of us, we must be coming across these two tunnels. I forgot my bike lights. I don't know about Pete. Did you remember your bike lights? Yes. You did? I did, yeah. Did you? They, they just turn them all on. Oh, there's the tunnel now. No. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be trusted with anything nice. I just <laughs> dropped my glasses. Uh, I'll stick behind you then, because I, I might have to take my glasses off. I can't see a thing in these tunnels. I can see there's some lights in there. <laughs> it's cold already. It's cold. <laughs> Well, actually, it looks brighter in the camera than it does in, in real life. I just steer through in the camera. Yeah. Tell you what, this is pretty epic. Look how long it is. This is so cool. Longest bike path tunnel in the UK. Wow. Full of facts today. Full of facts. Do you know how long it is? Absolutely no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see light at the end of the tunnel, so it's no, not... all, all I can see is look at the vision through the camera compared to what we can actually see. Oh, this is full of that. <laughs> <laughs> the 1.7 kilometers long. Well wow, just wow. Please come and ride that tunnel. <laughs> it's just incredible. What a piece of engineering that is. Second one, Pete. <laughs> that one's not as impressive. Oh, there is another one. I don't know how long this one is. Look who it is! I thought that looked like a Mendip jersey. Hello. You've been through the tunnels before? I have done, yeah. Um, that's yeah. for us, that was really yeah. cool. Where's this come out then, Justin? It comes out onto the Bristol Road. In the Follow, that is um, their flat there. Yeah. And then if you go this way, heading out towards like the Bath side of, uh, Bristol side of Bath. These bridges just aren't impressive anymore, Pete. You were the first to do the walk of shame. There's one thing I hate is pushing my bike. <laughs> Over the river. But it's nearly not, <laughs> not doing social distancing. Well, this path is just incredible. Nice and fast, it feels downhill all the way. Great scenery, just an incredible ride so far. Absolutely loving it. A little bit of a wobble coming down that hill then, Pete. Yeah, that was quite a fast descent, <laughs> narrow road. I was hugging the hedge and there's a runner coming the other way up the hill. That's a bit scary. <laughs> well, we come through the urban bit of Canesham, which wasn't so nice part of the day's ride, but I don't know where we are now, but this is stunning. Very nice. Yeah. Pretty little village. We've got another hill. I think so. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. We are on the uh, National Cycle Network 410 route, and there are some pretty villages uh, on this route. Road surfaces, <laughs> not that great, <laughs> but pretty villages. It's not a route you want to come stuck into gear though. <laughs> no. Look. You want to make sure all your gears are fully working. Even on a fully functioning bike, <laughs> it's been tough. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not much rest bike. No. Yeah, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? <laughs> Just a pretty little photograph. Yeah, make sure we keep off the grass. Keep off the grass though, yeah.
You know what's normally in the layby up here, don't you, Pete? Ice cream. Ice cream. Please be there, please. Yes. Fingers crossed. What have you found, Pedro? Ice, at home now, ice cream and a lake. <laughs> Has ice cream replaced coffee and cake on your rides as yeah. well? <laughs> Where have you guys been today? I just cleaned it up at Brockford Cleveland. We had a look at the salt and malt. It's absolutely rammed out. Is it? it? Yeah. Uh, oh. Cleveland last week, so. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, here goes nothing. It was nice knowing you all. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I love cycling. Nine eight nine. <laughs> He's not supposed to go that way. Well, I made it. I'm still alive. My heart rate was incredibly high. 189 when my max is supposed to be 186. That's a new record, I think. <laughs> we say goodbye to Justin, who's uh, taking a shortcut back home to Croscombe. And uh, we're heading on down Cheddar Gorge. And the sun is fighting now behind the clouds. So it's got a bit chilly now we've had that ice cream. <laughs> yeah, if you're cycling today's route on your own, I think it'll be a little bit demoralizing. Yeah. Uh, it's just so many sheep. Sheep? <laughs> there's no sheep. Well, there's, a few, there's a few sheep. <laughs> lots of cyclists, lots of runners. Lots of cars. Some of the uh, steep, sharp climbs and little descents. It's pretty, uh, be pretty lonely on your own, this, yeah. I think. It's been an epic ride, though. Epic ride. If you're going to do it, though, make sure your bike's working. <laughs> it might be quite not about enjoyable, because I've quite enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed the challenge, but it'll be a lot easier. Yeah, it's not something you want to do every week, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Mechanic, please. Bit uh, shocked at how busy Cheddar was, Pete. Yeah, I don't know if I got on the GoPro, but that, that, was, that was mental. Hundreds was, uh, and hundreds of people. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's ride. That tunnel was epic. Please do that tunnel. If you've got lights, take them for the tunnel. It was uh, 1.7k long. Lumpy ride today. So lumpy. So lumpy. Nice to see Justin out and about. Yeah, nice to see Justin. To Justin. You on about Charlemagne next weekend, maybe? Potentially the beach next weekend. Potentially yeah. the beach next weekend, which uh, which will be another epic ride. We'll see what they say about we'll lockdown. We'll see what they say. Yeah, yeah. Knowing how the southwest is going up in numbers, we'll probably be in lockdown next week. But if we're not, we'll be back with another video. But if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, and do leave a comment because we do yeah. enjoy all down below. Comments. And uh, the Strava ride today will be in the link in the description to my Strava. Go give me a follow on Strava. But anyway, thank you for watching. We will see you again very, very soon.